Hello everyone and welcome back to Acorn Life number... Let me check. We'll see. 18! I done 17 on the 26th of March. So, wow, about three weeks ago-ish is my mic in. Yeah, you can see my mic right there. Um, I have XSplit running on my second screen. The audio is still a bit loud for me. Um, doing this whole webcam thing is kind of awkward for me just because, yeah, I've, it, the webcam isn't great and it's probably super choppy. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it turns out. But uh, what have I done in the last three weeks or since I've last done an Acorn Life? I actually don't know what I talked about in the last one. But since then, what's been going on? Um, I talked about my interviews that I had, I think. Yeah, it was more than three weeks, three weeks ago that I had them, so I had an interview, um, it didn't go so well, and I didn't get a job, but yeah, um, I'm looking at other options that I can take now, that I am, um, in terms of work, because I think I'm done with this whole trying to get into the games industry or the audio industry thing, just because it's, it's not working, I've, okay, so my, my train of thought is, um, I started working with audio when I was 15, you know, it, was, it wasn't you know, pro audio, I was 15, I picked up a guitar and I learned how to play the guitar and I was like, okay, it's fun, and by the way, I have a really nice guitar now. I haven't played it in a, quite a while, but I love my guitar. It's, uh, no, what is it, yeah, it's an ESP EC1000 Deluxe Limited Edition, or just limited, okay, whatever. It's nice, let me put it back. I only play now when I actually need to record, like I don't actually practice, I I write something, oh, it's super hot in England at the moment, no idea why, but we've had like sun and heat for the last like, week or so, it's been, it's been really nice, but I only play when I want to, like I write, I notate something, I'm like okay, so this is my guitar part that I need to learn, and I learn it, and then I record it, and then I'm done, and I don't play my guitar until I really need to record something else, so uh, it's... I'm not as good as I used to be, but, you know, um, I still consider myself a guitarist and musician and whatnot. So, um, yeah, when I was 15, I picked up the guitar, 15 or 14, something like that, and I started playing, and then, of course, I went to college to do music practice and technology. Uh, two different courses, obviously, so I've done two courses at the same time. And then after that, I went on to university to do music technology, which is when I started doing YouTube, and you all should know about that. And then after that, I've spent three years since I've graduated trying to get into the industry, and... All that time, effort, money, debt, depression. Um, it, it's it's not worth it anymore. It's I'm done. Um, I'm gonna keep trying, obviously, but I'm I'm done trying at the moment just because I need something else. I need to get some money in the bank. I need an alternative career that I can uh, pursue and go after because I don't have it at the moment. It's I'm running out of money fast. Uh, I've been bailed out by my grandparents already once because uh, I'm paying out for a lot of stuff at the moment. I've got um, house bills, I've got a phone bill. I'm paying an animator to help me animate my animated series. And I might even have to cut that short to eight episodes instead of the 12 that I had planned and storyboarded out. So yeah, I mean, I might be able to get a Patreon page for that, but I don't have enough followers. So it's kind of almost pointless and boom. Oh, what the, how did that Naja survive? Oh my God. The sneaks, I haven't watched this game yet. Oh, oh, did, oh, 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 sneaky. Oh my god, Naja, how the hell did you survive that? Well, I got her anyway, I don't know how, but, oh my god. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm planning to do at the moment. Um, or that's what's happened, sorry. And what I'm planning to do is um, an apprenticeship in mechanical design. So my stepdad works at a, um, I think it's a nuclear place. <laughs> Something to do with nuclear power. And it's quite a well-known one. And they do apprenticeships in mechanical design and things like that, so I might as well just go ahead with that. It's almost relatively decent money. But the thing that gets me about this is, like, it's a four-year apprenticeship, and I'll be, like, starting at the bottom of the barrel. It's, like, my entire, like, the last whatever so many years I've done, seven years that I've done, and it just no, don't matter, and I'm starting from the bottom of the barrel again. And what's even worse is my sister's doing it as well, so it's going to be like, well, there's an older brother and a younger sister, and the younger sister's here and the older brother's here, so it's like, what happened in his life that he's so far behind? And it's like, I'm not behind, 
but I am, and it's really annoying. Like, I wouldn't be behind if the industry was kind, but the industry is not kind. The industry is broken, and the industry, the audio industry, and the game industry is just... It's... It's horrible. It really is. There's just... It just hasn't moved with the times. I feel like it's outdated. Their methods of hiring and their what they, you know, their criteria for hiring are completely unreasonable. And it's just, especially in the audio audio game industry, where you want to go and get to sound design or composition, they just they undervalue audio highly, and they have like one or two people per team, and it's just it's just ridiculous. I can go on about this forever, but basically. Uh, the audio world needs to buck its ideas up and... Oh my god, I should got away again. It needs, it needs to learn how to f fucking man up and... Train people, for God's sake! I mean, I know you want to make games, but you're never going to get anywhere if you don't know how to bloody hire people and teach them because it's just... That's how it works. That's how people get in and you're destroying so many hopes and dreams, like including mine. So, thanks for that, all of you people that refuse to hire me. Um... I don't know if this happened since the last Acorn Life. It probably... Oh, hello, Fenrir. It probably has. Uh, basically, three years ago, I, if you remember me, I talked about a junior sound design position, which I was going for at TT Games. And I recently saw, saw it open again. I was like, oh my god, this position's open again after three years. I feel like I've improved massively since the last time I've applied for this thing. Um, I've my my portfolio has improved, my CV has improved, my general skill and you know awareness in audio has improved. And last time I got to the interview stage, I had an interview I was down to like the last five. And this time they didn't even ask me to do the test, which they asked, you know they want you to do. So I was like, what? Oh, it's that's so that that was the last straw. I mean, at that point when I was like after three years of, hey, three years ago you got an interview, but this time we're not going to offer you shit. And then it's just like, okay. I'm done. Um, I've been beaten by the system for now. I need to go somewhere else. So that's what I've been thinking and what I've been just going through my head. So if I can get this apprenticeship, then I might be able to still do a, my Sunday job. So I'll have two jobs just because I need to get the extra money. And then with that, if I don't have two jobs, I can't move out. If I do, I may be able to afford a place uh, nearby for relatively cheap and, you know, have a decent internet in stream maybe or something. And yay, I can move on and go out and do things and generally have a nice life because now life is is not comfortable and I'm constantly worrying about cash flow and when I'm going to run out of it because I don't earn enough at the moment to just stay afloat. Um, in terms of gaming I'm still playing Smite quite often. Um, I've made a Smurf account and I'm really bad at ADC so I've made a Smurf account to teach some new players who have decided to play with us. Oh my god, <laughs> don't totally stop one from me. Uh, so I'll be doing more videos on that where if and when they come up I mean sometimes I don't record and I have really good games and sometimes and most of the time I record and have really bad games it's just the way it goes um, I usually play on my level 21 account with Wiz who is currently p playing Mercury whose smurf account because he's already level 30 is not a platypus <laughs> so yeah so if you see me say Wiz and it's just like wait that's platypus then you know that that's who I mean but I usually play with him, and if we like, if we lane together in the same lane, and I'm supposed to be the aggressive one or the ADC, we do really bad because I, I, we don't work together that way. Like we work best together when either we're in, I'm solo mid or jungle, or he's solo mid or jungle because we're not relying on each other. I guess. Oh my god, that Anubis, that Anubis damage. Oh my god. But I just think that's that's the best way we work. Um, if we're just like on our own, we know what we're doing, and then if we need help from one another, we can say, yo, can you come gank my lane? They don't expect it because they don't think we're going to be like working together because it's kind of funny that way. But that's just how we work. Uh, I do okay in support. Like, I like playing Ymir. Ymir support's really fun. It's really... What's the word? Over... I guess it's really irritating because you just get a blink and then you just freeze them and you know piss all over them. Ymir is really fun. I think I've managed to do carry Ymir once as well just because like my team was doing nothing. So I was like, okay then, I'll just go damage and I'll just get Bancrofts and get a few defensive items and then damage. And I was going like six and nothing as Ymir. It was really funny. Uh, we lost, obviously, because carry Ymir doesn't work. <laughs> but it, it was fun and you know, Ymir is really good. What else has been happening? Um, Feed the Steve. Okay, so Feed the Steve is going really well. The server's got some, you know, 
active players on it now, or, you know, me and two others, and the rest are just kind of here and on there. I mean, we could do with some more players on there, but uh, at the moment it's steadily growing, with, you know, and the series is not getting a name for itself. It's just something I do just because it's to pass the time, I guess. I mean, Minecraft on my channel's had its day. Um, so was Battlefield mostly, but there's uh, one thing I'll be carrying on with Battlefield when that comes out. I mean, Battlefield 4 is good and all, but it still just doesn't hold the fun value that Bad Company 2 did. I mean, my friends are still playing um, Bad Company 2 at the moment. It's just like, well, okay, let's just go back. Oh, that Naja missed a stun. No, no. <laughs> that would have been a dead chuck if that was true. If you hit a stun, sorry. Um, so, Feed the Steve, yeah, going really well. I have... I don't want to tab out because you'll see all my desktop and stuff. But I think I have 18 episodes recorded and rendered, and today I'll record episode 19. I'm trying to get into Thaumcraft, which is absolutely huge. It's just like, oh my god, this, this mod is ridiculous. So, yeah, hopefully that can... I might actually make a Patreon page for Feed the Steve as well. That'd be neat. But nobody watches it and nobody advertises. It's like, for the big people, everyone's like such a huge fan that they advertise on Reddit and they go onto websites and talk about their, you know, this YouTuber they love. And no one's ever really done that for me, so... I feel like my community, like whilst they're nice and friendly, they, they haven't actively marketed me, which is you know, kind of like, oh. But also, um, I don't want to market myself. And there, here's a dead chuck. Yeah, yeah, I finally died. So, one day, I mean, how much time have we got left? Loads. Okay. One day, um, maybe that'll happen, but I'm not counting on it. I mean, YouTube is just a hobby for me. It's always been just a hobby. I've never thought of it as a viable career option, especially like just. Yeah, I'm with Machinima, and uh, I get some money, just not a lot. It's mostly, it's mostly, I think most of what I get still comes from surviving Minecraft, like, which I made two, three years ago. So, yeah. What are you going to do? It's kind of funny, but uh, in terms of music as well, um, I'm still working on stuff, but I've been kind of trying to dig myself out of this, you know, no career thing. So... <laughs> Uh, I've been, I've, my focus has been elsewhere, so it's kind of sad, but that's pretty much what's going on in life at the moment. Oh, 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 almost forgot something really huge. Um, I started Jiu-Jitsu a couple weeks ago, about, yeah, just after, I think, Anchor on Life 17. I, I don't know, did I start on the 28th? Honestly, can't remember, but I've been going for three weeks now, and I am officially a white belt with all my stuff. I mean, you can't see it in the camera. Officially, a white belt. <laughs> I I have a white belt again. Okay, so my history with martial arts. I hang on, get comfortable. Okay, so I started doing taekwondo years ago when I was like maybe ten. I don't know how old I was. I was really young, but I done taekwondo for maybe a year. It seemed like a lot longer, but when you're a kid, obviously a year lasts forever, and it was going well. Um, I was really young, so of course you you take in stuff, but then you don't take in stuff, and uh, the, I think I would have carried it on, but it, Taekwondo requires you to be super flexible, and I've, as a kid, of course, I was super flexible, but it was mostly focused around striking and using your, your legs to strike the, kind of the head and break and things, and they didn't really teach me techniques, it was mostly just kind of... Of course, because I was a kid, they wouldn't, you know, obviously, it's kind of useless to teach a kid that kind of thing. I don't think they took me or any other um, junior that seriously, but you didn't learn techniques in Taekwondo. It was mostly okay, just kick, strike, fitness, um, you know, stuff like that. And in Jiu Jitsu, I'm actually learning takedowns and techniques to, the, you know, that can be applied in real life instead of, you know, a, a, what is essentially a sport. Taekwondo, I don't feel is a very good kind of street fighting, I don't know. It, a viable option for uh, actual, I don't know, combat. I mean, if you look at the Olympics and things like that, it's like, okay, great, there's this whole sport around it and everyone's got sportsmanship and everyone's fine. But in like a real world situation, people don't wait each other up and look at each other for half an hour. Ooh, ooh, they got her, yeah. So, and here's the frame rate, and there's the <laughs> God, I love that bit. But Jiu Jitsu is kind of, I've, I've, I'm like, on my first day, literally it's like, okay, we're gonna do walk through takedowns. And I learned how to take down someone bigger than me just by walking through them. It's it's incredible. Um, I'm doing... I think it's it's, it's a variation of Japanese Jiu-Jitsu, not Brazilian. Brazilian is more based around competitions and sport. Japanese Jiu-Jitsu was founded on the battlefield, like against big 
guys in armor and 1v1 situations. And what I'm learning is a variation of that, which is more focused around self-defense. So eye gouging, crotch kick, you know, cr crotch kicking, sorry. And, you know, going for uh, tender places is all fine. <laughs> so I cannot enter competitions because um, it'll be like, okay, you're not allowed to kick in the crotch. Can I bite? No. But <laughs> I would be like, okay, disqualified. It'll be, I'll, I'll lose anyway because these people that do competitions are incredibly talented. But it's, um, I, I find this inc incredibly interesting and fun and incredibly good for fitness as well. Just because the exercises you do is just like, okay, so we're going to do this. And you're going to be thrown, so you get thrown to the floor. And then it's all the throwing and getting up and moving your weight through. It's a lot of exercise. And I think it's something like 500 to 800 calories per hour of, you know, rigorous practice. Oh, my God, everything gets stolen from me. <clears throat> Stop stealing stuff. I've got... I know I've only got five assists, but it feels like... I should have had more, but wow. So this is what's going on in my life. Uh, <laughs> wow, oh my god. I love this game, I love Chuck. Chuck's my favorite solo hero, by the way. Hey, Al Kwong is my favorite mid in Smite anyway. So that's what's going on in my life. I probably was all over the place with this video just because, yeah, I haven't done an Acorn Life in a while and talking, and especially with the camera in front of me. I don't know where to look, because like, my screen's there and the camera's there and, eh, and the mic's there. So I probably won't be doing an Acorn Life for another month. Uh, maybe, oh my god, the next Acorn Life might be when I'm 24. My god. Yeah, it's my birthday on the 18th of May. Wish me happy birthday. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Video's over. So, take care, and I'll see you next time.